Hey there, fifth graders. Welcome to today's homework help video for the week of March 11th. Uh, so this week's homework, we are revisiting the metric units of measurement. Uh, so to review, uh, there are three different ways that in fifth grade we focus on measurement, and that is the measurement of length, weight, and capacity. So length meaning like how long or how tall something is. And in the metric units, we talk about meters, um, centimeters, millimeters, kilometers. Those are all terminologies that we use to measure the length of something. When we speak about the weight of something, we talk about grams, centigrams, milligrams, kilograms. Uh, same thing with capacity. We talk about liters, centiliters, milliliters, kiloliters. Um, and today I did discuss with a few of you how in the Latin terminology way back then when you know language was created um we have root words meaning like like a prefix almost right so when we have let's say for example the terminology of centimeter the root word here is centi which in latin uh the meaning is 100. so when we talk about um uh, a centimeter compared to our base, which is a meter. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Um, that measurement is kind of like, like, like the root or like the base. When we talk about um, millimeters, that root word milli, right? Ancient uh, Latin, it stands for a thousand. So when we talk about let me clear my screen really quick. Milli, right? So when we talk about our base, a meter, converting it to millimeters, that milli means a thousand. Uh, just a little uh, boring background information for you, okay? So kind of how we think about place value, right? If this is like our base or like our root measurement, which is meters, um, when we divide by 10, when we take a meter and we cut the meter into smaller parts, um, there are actually 10 decimeters in one meter. That root word deci means 10. So in one meter, there's 10 decimeters. We go to the next smallest, which is centimeters. Again, that root word centi means 100. And then lastly, we go to millimeters, that root word milli means 1000. So when you think about meters in particular, and this also, hey, this also works for grams and for liters as well, but we're just going to focus on length for right now. Um, 10 times smaller than a meter is a decimeter. So there are 10 decimeters in one meter. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. There is 1,000 millimeters in one meter. We get to the same thing with weight. If our root here is grams, we're talking about grams here. Well, there are 10 decigrams in a gram. Centi means 100. There's 100 centigrams in a gram. And lastly, that milli means 1,000. There's 1,000 milligrams in one gram. Same thing with last but not least, capacity. If our root is liters, that's like our base, our liters. 10 deciliters is one liter going to the next smallest, which is centiliters. There's 100 centiliters in a liter. Lastly, milliliters. There's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So that's just, such a, some uh, boring background uh, Latin uh, information for you. So let's get into actually applying these conversions into our homework. Let me back out of this. Let's take a look at today's homework. 
Alrighty, so today's homework, I'm asking you to complete the tables and then to convert each of these measurements. So let's take a look at looking at the tables. So first we have millimeters and we want to convert the millimeter. Oops, let me get my, get my pen ready. That would be helpful, Mrs. Bowers. There we go. Let's get red. I like red. We're going to convert millimeters to centimeters. So this is a measurement of length. Milli meaning 1,000, centimeters meaning 100, if we're talking about their comparison to meters. Uh, but we're comparing millimeters to centimeters. So let's revisit my chart here. We're talking about length. There are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So I might want to jot that down here, that there are 10 millimeters for every one centimeter. So let's start converting. Well, what if I have 200 millimeters? Let me think. Okay, well, millimeters, that's a smaller unit than centimeters. It's actually 10 times uh, the size. So let me think. Okay, well, if millimeters has 10 millimeters is one centimeter, well, what about 200 millimeters will be how many centimeters? So the, um, the conversion is actually to divide by 10. So I want to know, well, what is one tenth of 200? Well, that's 20, my friends. So if 10 millimeters is one centimeter, then 200 millimeters is 20 centimeters. The difference is 10. It is 10 times the number. Let's work the opposite way now. Let's go from centimeters, which is a larger unit, to millimeters, which is a smaller unit. So if I have 6.5 or 6.5 centimeters, I know that there's 10 millimeters per every centimeter. So if I do some quick multiplication, that's 65 millimeters. Let's work the opposite now. If I have millimeters, I know that millimeters are one-tenth of a centimeter. So let's multiply by one-tenth. What is one-tenth of 57.2 or 57 and two-tenths? Well, that would be five and 72 hundredths. It's 10 times the value. Now let's work backwards again. Centimeters. We have 84.36 centimeters, or 84 and 36 hundredths of a centimeter. The value is 10 times greater than millimeters. So this would be 843 and 6 tenths. So really we're just playing with some numbers here, right? We're just, as long as we know that the basic conversion is that there is 10 millimeters for every one centimeter. Let's switch from length to capacity, meaning liquid. <clears throat> so, oh, there we go. This is this would be a nice, a nice easy one. All right, so liters, that's like the base or like the um, like the the root. Um measurement and i want to convert them into centiliters centi there's that root word meaning 100 right so if there are 100 centiliters for every one liter let's do some conversions so if there is 400 centiliters i want to know well what is one hundredth of 400 that's four Right, if one liter is 100 centiliters, then four liters would be 400 centiliters. Let's try this again. Next row down, let's work opposite now. I have 8.5 liters, so I'm going to want to multiply that by 100 to get the value of the centiliters, which in this case would be 850. It's 100 times. The size. All right, next we have 38.4. Okay. Well, what is one tenth of 38.4? 
what would be 3.84. Lastly, 25.87. I want to know what is 100 times that. Well, that would be 2,587. Because for every one liter, there's 100 centiliters. All right, for the third and final chart, I'm going to get you started, but then I want, you, I want you to try to do the conversions on your own. Now we're talking about grams and milligrams. Well, if grams is like my base or my root, right, so one gram, I can use what I now know about the Latin language. I know that milli means 1,000. There are 1,000 milligrams per gram. So now I want you to try out on your own. I'll help you with the expressions, but then I want you to do the actual conversions, right? So let's do 300. What is 1,000th of 300? That'll tell you how many grams there are. Next, I have 26 hundredths times 1,000. That'll tell you how many milligrams there are. Next, we're going to convert from milligrams to grams. So what is 1 1,000th of that? And then lastly, 1.4 grams times 1,000 will tell you how many milligrams we have. So basically what it, what the point of today's lesson is I'm not looking for you to memorize the conversions. I want to know what you can do with those conversions. How many grams make up 300 milligrams? And we'll use that conversion of 1,000 times larger, 1,000 times smaller to do so. All right, so go ahead and, and fill that out. And then I'm going to move on to number four and number five. All right, so we're going to convert each of these measurements. I have 4.9 kilometers or kilometers. I pronounce them both ways. Um, and I'm converting them to kilometers and to meters. Oh, this is very interesting. So notice how they've already taken out four kilometers. And what I'm left with is nine tenths of a kilometer. That is what I need to be converting into meters. So let's revisit my chart here. Meters to kilometers. All right, there is 1000 meters per kilometer. So if one kilometer is 1,000 meters, I need to multiply 9 tenths by 1,000 to get my answer. I'll let you work on that. Next, we have 8 liters and 5 milliliters. Interesting. We need to convert, uh, so we already have 8 liters plus 5 milliliters. So I need to change my milliliters. I need to change my, my milliliters into liters. Well, let me think about, hmm. Let's go to my conversion here. Milliliters to liters. Well, I know that there are 1,000 milliliters per liter. Equals one liter. So if I have five milliliters, I need to divide, let's erase this really quick. I need to divide five milliliters divided by 1,000 to determine the number of liters. You'll add those two together to get the total number of liters. All right, guys, do the computation on your own, and that was your walkthrough of this week's homework.
All right, good luck.